Hey everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me. Louise, I am loving this look. It is just, the light hits, it, like it isn't even like what I see in this mirror. It's just so pretty. And every time I look at it in a mirror, passing a mirror, I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. But I was going for a spring look. I think, I think I achieved it. I mean, I'm definitely bright and uh, bubbly, I guess. But let's go through. So for foundation, I'm wearing the Tarte Found Clear. I don't know, y'all. I keep trying to see how I feel about it. It's just all right. But that's the way I feel about a lot of things. It's just all right. You know what I mean? For concealer, I'm wearing the Urban Decay Naked. Just trying to use it up. The Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. Um, for powder, I set the under eyes with my Rimmel Stay Matte. The rest of the face, I set with my Dior Powder No Powder in shade 2N. I'd, I'd spit it out eventually, you know what I mean? I'll get it out. For bronzer, Pat McGrath Nude Honey. For highlighter, Pat McGrath in Golden Nectar. And then for the blush, which is really... I feel like with spring, your blush, your eyes, and your lips are the kind of the key points in a way, whether it's all three or just one of the three. Like, this blush just screams spring in a way. And it's by Benefit, and it's Krista. And I got the mini, and I tell you, go in with a light hand for sure. But it is just the prettiest blush. So pretty. But definitely go in with a light hand, tap it off, and build it like that. Because if you go in, whoo, that it's got so much pigment on it, it's unreal. Like, after I did it, I still had to take it down a little bit, you know? And I went in, and lightly, knowing, and it's still, so. But you can just tap over it with your foundation brush, and all is well. For lips, I lined with my Charlotte Tilbury Pink Venus. And then I decided I wanted to try one of my, it's not a new lipstick, but... My weapon lipstick. I love these. They're hourglass. And this particular lipstick is called something. You can find me. And it is really pretty for spring, I think. I didn't put a lip gloss on yet because I'm not really for sure like what lip gloss, but I was thinking maybe like the Laura Lee in Strawberry lip gloss would look okay with this. Let's give it a whirl. Let's try it. I love these. They smell so good. And this doesn't have much of a tint to it, so it's not going to really affect the color. But it will add a little bit of moisture back into my lips at least. Which they need because I ain't a young chicken anymore. So I need all the hydration I can get. And I think that that's where this is. This is, I don't know if this is drying. I feel like it is, but it could have been my sunscreen because, you know, the sun's out now and I've been very diligent about wearing my sunscreens and I don't know. I think I like one and then I don't want to go to apply a foundation or something, you know, but for the palette, I was thinking like, what reminds me of spring, you know, pulling out my spring palettes from like brands, like what brand, you know, like with, um, Natasha Denone, I think it's a pastel palette with Pat McGrath. I was thinking about the, I have that quad, but then I also was thinking like the, um, mothership eight, seven, eight, the one with hot pink. I thought that was springy, but it really wasn't. But this, I think, is for Huda Beauty. I mean, other than the pastels or maybe those neon shades she came out with, I think this screams spring. And it's the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. I don't know if this is still available or not, but my goodness, are these colors just beautiful. I mean, stunning. For nails, I'm wearing the Cir Circu Colors Nail Polish in Wipeout. And you can buy these from Beautylish or Amazon. 
So I've purchased it from both. And I think it goes well with my shirt. I think my eye looks somewhat goes okay with the shirt, but you know, it, it is leaning more purple where this is leaning more blue, but hey, it's okay. We got this. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is Crash, which is this almost like a contour shade, but it's more, it does pick up more pinky than gray. But it still works very well for what I needed to do. I don't know. There's just something about this palette. And it is so, so extremely easy to use. Her palettes are. And I will say this one doesn't have one of those crazy shades in it that she's been adding. Or that she added to at least two palettes. Maybe three. So that's good. And... I mean, the palette is just stunning. It really is. But at the same time, I think all of her bigger pans, palettes, or her bigger palettes, not bigger pan, bigger palettes, like she launches at like Christmas and stuff, they're phenomenal. Like, that's where they just excel. And don't get me wrong, I like a lot of her nine pans, but there is something special about these particular palettes at the same time. All right, now that I got that on, we're gonna go into the shade Off Balance. That I am. And we're gonna put that right in the crease. I'm very much off balance nowadays. I don't know if I'm coming or going. I don't know about you all. I think I'm at the point of life where I'm too old for this. But yet, I'm also too young to say, screw it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's the point of life I'm at. And I honestly, I just don't understand people anymore or at least the people I'm surrounded by I've always been but th th I do think that it has something to do with the way we're raised too and I just I don't know I'm at a loss of words we're going to take off balance and run it under the lower lash line I don't know, these colors are just so easy to work with, and, like, you can't apply too much, you can't apply, like, they're, it, they're just, this formula is really good from her. Let's go into Vortex, which is the darkest shade, and, like, something like this would scare me, generally, right? We all know this, this color would be, like, no thank you, but in her palette, it's just easy. And I know I'm getting more comfortable playing with darker shades, figuring them out. But at the same time, it's nice to use a palette where you don't have to figure something out. It just does its job and works, you know? It does what it's supposed to do, and it calls it a day. And I can respect that, and that's what this gives me. It definitely does what it is supposed to do, and then it's like, okay, you, you good? I'm good? We're good. I don't want to mess too much with it because I will say though I like the palette love the palette but some of the shades can be messy can you avoid it absolutely you can avoid the mess if you apply them you know a certain way but you know me and I don't apply stuff a certain way so that's why we are where we are sometimes that's okay. We always get to a decent ending anyway, right? 
All right, now we're going to pick up the shade Nebula, and this is the shade I'm talking about. I can spray my brush and not have any problem at all. I know this. So Nebula is right here, this beautiful color. You can also apply it with a finger. You can also lay down a glitter glue. Like there is a lot of things you can do. You can use it as a topper and not make a mess. But you know, I just am gonna do it this way. So you all can see. Because to be fair, you may not wanna do any of those things. So you need to know you could have a mess. And it's a mess, sort of like with the special shades from Charlotte Tilbury, or not Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath, how they can be flaky. That's what you're going to get out of this particular shade, unless you apply it with something. Glitter glue, it will fall throughout the day, and you just have to be prepared for that. And if you're okay with that, then you're wonderful, you know? You have no problems, but if you're not aware, then you're going to not be happy at the end of the day. Once I get it on with a brush the way I want it, I get it out of my eyelashes, get it brushed away. I see where I'm at with it. Like, is it dark enough? And it's not. So then I will take my finger and I'll go into it, pick it up, and I will start to lay it down where I need more of the pigment because this is a, a lighter shade. But also by just taking my finger and tapping over it, it does kind of set it into place a little bit. Will I still get fallout? Yes, because of the way I applied it. Am I aware of that? Yes. And now you are. So if I was to, but look at that shade. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna go in the shade Galaxy and we're gonna put it in the inner corner. After putting this in the inner corner, I really should have went with a different shade to be fair, but I had already did it, so commit it. I wasn't paying attention to the look that I created. Technically, I think I should have either used Cosmic, which is this pink, or uh, Supermoon, which is this one here. But we didn't, but it still turned out nice. You know, things still came together the way they're supposed to. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade, Vortex, the darkest shade here, and we're going to line the top lash line and lower lash line. But this shade is really dark, but oh my goodness, you all, it blends so.